In this video, we'll do an exam review on A beta lipoproteinemia and chylomicron formation. But a few exam questions before we start the topic. Question number one What's the difference in long chain fatty acid absorption than the other fatty acid absorption? Number two What's the purpose of chylomicrons? Number three How do chylomicron exit the intestinal cells and where do they go? And question number four What are the intestinal biopsy features in A beta lipoproteinemia? Now, A beta lipoproteinemia. It's the absorptive phase of the lipid digestion and absorption in which chylomicron formation occurs. Digestion and absorption takes place on the brush border villi in the small intestine, not in the colon. Why? Because number one, villi are only present in the small intestine and absent in the colon. And number two, digestive enzymes are present primarily in the brush border villus epithelial cells. So villi only in the small intestinal cells and they have the digestive enzyme in them. Dietary fat intake is about 120 to 150. 50 grams a day and more than 90% of dietary fats are long chain fatty acids. To be absorbed only long chain fatty acids require lipolysis and missile formation whereas the other fatty acid the medium and short chain they don't require lipolysis and uh, missile formation 95 percent of ingested fat is absorbed in adults but infant do not absorb about 10 to 15 percent of fats 5% of fat is excreted in the stool. Now, re-astrification of the long chain fatty acid. How does it occur? At the surface of the brush border cells, lipid diffuses out of the muscles and enters the enterocytes by passive diffusion. And then what happens inside the enterocytes? Inside the enterocytes, lipids are rapidly re-astrified in the endoplasmic reticulum and in the Golgi apparatus to form chylomyces. So what happens to the bile salts? The bile salts diffuse back into the intestinal lumen. The bile salts were covering the lipid acid when they were absorbed but before they are absorbed bile salts diffuse back into the lumen to form the new missiles. After re-estrification inside the enterocytes, triglycerides are coated with a layer of beta lipoproteins, cholesterol and phospholipids to form chylomicrons. Formation of chylomicron is required by long chain fatty acid to exit the intestinal cells which reach the liver via lymphatics. Chylomicrons are composed of beta lipoproteins and contain triglycerides, cholesterol and phospholipids. Almost all absorbed cholesterol is incorporated into chylomicron that enters the liver via lymphatics. So what's the problem with lipolysis and missile formation in A beta lipoproteinemia? Lipolysis, missile formation and lipid uptake by the enterocytes are all normal in A beta lipoproteinemia but the re-estrified triglycerides cannot exit from the epithelial cells because of the mutation in protein that transfers fat to chylomicrons in the intestine and VLDL in the liver. Plasma level of triglycerides, cholesterol, LDL, VLDL and FOB are very low or undetectable in A beta lipoproteinemia. So what's the purpose of chylomicrons? Re-estrified triglycerides require the formation of chylomicrons to exit the intestinal epithelial cells and enter the liver via lymphatics. So how do chylomicrons exit the intestinal cells and where do they go? I explained it earlier. Chylomicrons exit the intestinal cell via lymphatics not by blood and they go to liver. Now clinical features of A beta lipoproteinemia. A beta lipoproteinemia presents in early childhood with diarrhea and failure to thrive. The features of A beta lipoproteinemia are number one malabsorption, number two pigmentary retinal degeneration with decreased color and night blindness which progresses to near blindness later in life. Number three ataxia is spinocerebellar degeneration leading to ataxia and spastic gait. Number four, acanthocytosis 
thorny RBCs. Number five, deficiency of fat soluble vitamins, especially vitamin E. Why vitamin E deficiency more than the other fat soluble vitamins? Because vitamin E requires VLDL, very low density lipoprotein, to exit from the liver. What are the intestinal biopsy features in A beta lipoproteinemia? Postperindial small intestinal biopsy in these patients reveal lipid laden small intestinal epithelial cells that become normal in appearance after 72 to 96 hour fast. Intestinal lymph injectasia similarly may also cause steaturia and protein losing. So, what's the treatment of A beta lipoproteinemia? Low fat diet. High calorie and vitamin enriched diet and large supplemental doses of vitamin E. Now, answers to the question What's the difference in long chain fatty acid absorption compared to the other fatty acids? It's necessary for long chain AC, it's necessary for long chain fatty acid to form chylomicrons inside the enterocyte to be absorbed in the lymphatics to reach the liver. Medium and small chain fatty acids are directly absorbed by the portal veins and do not require chylomicron formation. Question number two, what's the purpose of chylomicron? Reestified triglycerides require the formation of chylomicrons to exit the intestinal epithelial cells and enter the liver via lymphatics. Question number three, I already explained how cholemicron exit of the intestinal cells. They exit via the lymphatics to the liver. Question number four, the intestinal biopsy features in A-beta lipoproteinemia. It's a postperindial small intestinal biopsy shows lipid laden small intestinal cells that become normal in appearance after 72 to 96 hours of fast.